The transfer window closes on Friday this week, but some deals, transfers, whatever you call them, aren't closed yet. But simply because of a lot of reasons, Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates are in battle for one common player. Hello guys, it's Ghost here, welcome back and if you are new to this channel and want to be kept updated about PSL transfer news as well as the rumors, consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Please stay until the end of this video. So guys, Kaiser Chiefs last time reported they had a lot of players they targeted and one of them got signed but yet nothing has been done with the others. Sources have indicated that the Lions of the North PC winger Mokete Mogaila has attracted interest from Chiefs. Like a boy Mokona is another Islands Park player who has long been eyed by Amakos. Although things stand, the Lions of the North will only be enticed by a big money offer. The contracts of both Itumelen Kune and Daniel Akbe are expiring at the end of this season. They'll be looking forward to sign a goalkeeper if they don't give them contract extension, which can or could be Richard Ofor and Riyad Peters. Both have been linked with a move to Kaiser Chiefs for quite some time now. It is believed that both the big guns of South African football, Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs, are keeping a close eye on Amazulus Bongingos in Duli, Former Mamelo de Sundown striker number seven of Amazul, top goal scorer of the club. Tabang Monare, who has been on the radar of Supersport United, Kaiser Chiefs, Mamelo de Sundown in the past months, is expected to continue on the books of Vets despite the player having been previously linked with an exit. Midwest Vets are expected to take up the option on one of their midfielders contract in the coming weeks. They are going to give him the one-year option to extend his contract as it ends in June this year. Orlando Pirates have shown interest in signing Kaiser Chief striker Leonardo Castro to their squad on a free transfer. The player's contract ends in six months from now. So in the last six months of a player contract, they are allowed to choose or another team or extend the contract if given an opportunity with their current team. If Orlando Pirates will be able to take a bid higher than Kaiser Chiefs would be able to outbid, then Castro would be likely to join Orlando Pirates. Chiefs will also get a taste of their own medicine, as this is how many of their players get signed free transfers. And coach Ernest Middendorp has cleared the air on the rumor that Siabong and Gezana is joining Mamelodi Sundowns soon. He says, Siabong and Gezana, I am very happy with him. We found him in a lot of fouls and a lot of whatever. Then he was in Egypt, being a crucial part of the qualifications of the Olympics. Middendorp says, at the moment, along with other young players, are at a crucial stage of their careers and the club is making sure they build the team around them as they are the future. I think, he says, at a certain time, it is very, very crucial now we have other players like Cape Machine bringing into the setup. Ngosem Pile Ngobo and Jabulo Blom not only training, also involved with the MDC team. On the link to Sundowns, the coach says the defender is in the plans of Kaiser Chiefs regardless of getting fewer minutes and he is contracted to the club. There is no way Gezana is not in our plan. He is very clearly part of the plans of Kaiser Chiefs and for the future, he insisted. He is contracted for, I don't know, it's not a question of millions or whatever it is to buy him. He is in the plans of the team. So guys, that's what he had to say about this issue. So guys, thanks for watching and listening. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you smash that like button and comment down below. See you in the next video.